Aspire Food Group completes production of manufacturing facility. Let me read a few lines without gagging. Aspire's new plant will reportedly produce 9,000 metric tons of crickets every year for human and pet consumption. On May 26th, Aspire Food Group announced that it has completed construction of its alternative protein manufacturing facility. London, Ontario is now home to the world's largest cricket production facility. Aspire's new plant will reportedly produce 9,000 metric tons of crickets every year for human and pet consumption. That's about 2 billion insects to be distributed annually across Canada and throughout the United States. Aspire also reports that it already has orders for the next two years. Crickets are currently being explored as a protein-rich superfood. They contain fire. Fiber, excuse me, and are already found in grocery stores and restaurants and have a smaller environmental footprint than traditional protein sources. <sighs> I am so grossed out. I was thinking about this story today and I was literally gagging. They couldn't be clearer. It's for humans. They said so in the tweet. They said so in the article. I'm sorry, I gagged a bit there. And they link to the company that owns the factory, Aspire Food Group. And uh, you can click on it and this is their website. And if you click About Us... They say, we are global industry leaders in advanced insect agriculture. At the bottom of the page is a timeline of the company, and it starts in 2012, when some students from McGill entered into a left-wing globalist project hosted that year by Bill Clinton called the HALT Prize, H-U-L-T Prize. I'd never heard of the HALT Prize before. I went to the website. It's a left-wing incubator, really. Uh, here, they describe themselves as, what is the HALT Prize? The HALT Prize challenges young people around the world to solve the planet's most pressing issues through social entrepreneurship. What does that mean? Well, I don't know. Here's the head of national directors in the HALT Prize Foundation. He's a World Economic Forum global shaper. I think that's what the HALT Prize is. It's sort of globalism, left-wingism, but lots of billionaires behind it. Uh, a lot of it seems to be about getting people to eat really weird foods. This year, for example, a team called Chilk, <laughs> which they say is making the best tasting, most functional and coolest alternative dairy in the world. Or Propel Foods, which they say is repurposing invasive species and plants to create modern foods for the modern diet. Are you getting a theme here? Well, here's how the London Crickets Factory, how their own CEO tells his Cinderella story. It's a two minute video by the CEO of that bug factory in London, explaining that absolutely, this is to feed crickets to people. Take a look. In 2013, I was pursuing a joint degree in medicine as well as an MBA at McGill University. Two months into the program, I got an email that I didn't realize was going to change my life. This was actually an email that brought my attention to the HALT Prize, the world's largest business prize competition. In 2013, the problem was food insecurity. We started looking at this problem and looking at it from all dimensions until we came across an incredible insight. And that is that over 2 billion people already consume insects as part of a diet. So we thought to ourselves, what if we can come up with a way to farm insects on a year-round basis in a cost-effective way? The judges have selected from McGill University, Aspire. We ultimately proceeded to defeat 20,000 teams from around the world and actually win the 2013 HALT Prize. And that gave rise to our company, Aspire. Insects, compared to any other form of livestock, use less land, less water, less energy, and produce a negligible amount of greenhouse gas emissions. They provide incredible nutrition for those who experience food security. And on the other hand, they happen to be tremendously sustainable for our planet. We devoted our resources to launching our beta facility, the most advanced, innovative insect farming technology in the world. You can literally copy and paste this farm anywhere in the world and ensure you're going to get the same yield and the same high quality product every single day. It is our belief that insect protein, given that it's already widely consumed around the world, it is food and it will be part of our food culture in the US. 
regardless of whether or not we are a part of making that history a reality. Oh, of course, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention it, but of course, I'm sure you assumed that in addition to getting that Clinton prize money, Justin Trudeau chipped in eight and a half million of your tax dollars for insect agriculture, and I think a couple more grants too. I think it's over 10 million now. So regular farmers raising beef on a ranch, farmers growing real crops, um, they're facing huge new taxes from Trudeau, not just carbon taxes, but now Trudeau's weird war on farms, including his war on fertilizer. We saw this in the Netherlands too, the bizarre and anti-human war on farming. Who goes to war against farmers? But that's the weird thing. Why is everyone pushing the end of beef, the end of real food? Why are they pushing synthetic fake food, fake meat, meat made in a lab, meat made from bugs? Why do you suddenly see these everywhere? I mean, for example, here's the World Economic Forum pushing the idea a few years back. Watch this whole thing. nuts algae bugs growing dead chicken meat in labs who is behind this madness what you just saw was an excerpt from my nightly show the Ezra Levant show every weekday I do a monologue usually it's about half an hour then I interview an interesting guest and then we read my hate mail or my fan mail whichever is more fun it's only available behind a paywall, though. That's how we pay our bills here at Rebel News. We don't take a dime from Justin Trudeau. But the good news is it's only 8 bucks a month, about half the price of Netflix. And in addition to my weekly, sorry, my nightly show, you also get weekly shows from four other friends here at Rebel News. So you're getting 36 shows a month just for 8 bucks. I think it's worth it. And even if you're not quite sure, do it anyways because... We rely on viewers like you to keep us free and independent. I promise you I'll never take a dime from Trudeau. Just go to rebelnewsplus.com and click subscribe. Thanks.